Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Divinely Designed and we have a bath bomb video today. I thought I would do a bath bomb that was geared to um, men. So a little bit of a masculine um, themed bath bomb for today. Most bath bombs you see are kind of round and they're pink or they're pastels and they have little candy hearts in them or things like that. So I was going for kind of a, a fun masculine theme today. Um, okay, so let's go over the recipe here. You see me measuring out um, my baking soda. So this is two cups of baking soda. I'm using a half cup measuring spoon there. So um, two cups of baking soda. Then next I'll be adding one and a half cups of citric acid. And then after that, I'm going to add a half cup of Epsom salt. Now, all three of those products are from Brambleberry. And it's a pretty typical bath bomb recipe, I'd say, for now. Uh, I think the only difference is a lot of people would only use one cup of citric acid. I put a little bit more citric acid in mine here. All right, my citric acid and my Epsom salt were uh, very lumpy, so I'm going to have to break up those lumps. The last dry ingredient you see me adding here is a scoop of powdered goat's milk. And then I'm just going to mix up this mix mixture with my hands, uh, getting all of the lumps out, and I'm going to speed that up. Okay. Once all of the lumps are out of my mixture and it's nice and smooth, I'm going to move on. And I'm going to add a little bit of an unusual ingredient here. This is called Torate Paste, and it is from Lotion Crafters. Uh, I'll hold it up to the camera here in a second. It is a coconut-based product, and it is a bubbling agent. It's, it's meant to make bubbles and things. Now, I don't add a whole lot here, so my hope was when I was adding this, not only as a way to bring my mixture together, but it, w it might add some bubbles in the bath. It doesn't really end up working like that, but it does seem to be a very good agent to sort of bind my mixture together. Now, it does have a tiny bit of water in it, so you may get a little bit of a, I, I don't know how to describe it, like a swelling to your mixture, but... I wanted to add my oils next, but they had been sitting out, so they sort of firmed up, so I'm going to microwave them real fast. It's only coconut oil. It's about, in the jar, I have about three tablespoons, or somewhere between two and three. I didn't really measure. And I also added some white beeswax to it and melted it into the warm oils, uh, just as a way to keep the bath bombs really, really firm. But it wasn't a lot. It was probably only about a teaspoon of beeswax. Now, I don't add all of the oil that's in my jar. I probably used a total of about two tablespoons of oil. And here again, I'm just using coconut oil. And then I'm going to mix it until it's all thoroughly incorporated. Now, once I'm done here, uh, it's reached a very good consistency. It's, it's sort of holding its shape. It's sort of like moist sand. I'm going to add my fragrance now. I'm using two essential oils. Both are from New Directions Aromatics. The first one is Fivefold Lemon, and the second one you will see me add is called Sweet Birch. And I add probably, oh, somewhere between 10 and 20 drops of each. The Sweet Birch is definitely kind of the stronger. Um, I probably could have added a little bit more lemon. Um, the end result doesn't, it didn't smell super lemony to me. I definitely had more of the sweet birch kind of smell to it, which is great. I love that smell anyway, so it's totally fine with me. Um, but if, if you were wanting a lemon, I'd add a little bit more, I think. 
Okay, so after I'm adding the essential oils here, I'm going to mix them up again just to make sure those essential oils get distributed throughout the mixture. Um, uh, so everything's sort of nice and e even and smells good all over the place. The next step, I'm going to put them into some silicone molds. Now, these molds I picked up at Bed Bath & Beyond, and they are actually um, meant to be large ice cubes that are used for scotch. But I thought they would be the perfect size for my little idea here, and you'll see it come together in just a second. But all I'm going to do is take my mixture and put it into the mold. Now, the molds are soft silicon, so the, the sides do sort of stretch a little bit. I'm going to push down very firmly to make a nice firm um, cube, make sure it gets filled out. And then you'll see me sort of push around the edges to make sure I try and straighten them out as much as possible. And then finally, I use a knife to sort of smooth out the tops. Now, they didn't come out perfect. I mean, they're not perfect cubes, but they're pretty close. I mean, some of the sides came out a little bit wavier than others, but I was generally pretty happy. Then I put them aside to dry um, and just sort of sit there. Now, I forgot to film this next part, so I apologize. But what my idea was to turn them into dice. So you'll see here, I have some that kind of look like dice there. Uh, and to do it, all I did was I took some charcoal, some activated charcoal, and I put it in a little tiny um, mixing bowl uh, and added just a, a little bit of olive oil, mixed it up till it was a nice kind of thin paste, and then used a pencil eraser to make the pips on each of the sides. Just dip the eraser into the activated charcoal and oil and then onto the dice. And that's it. Hope you liked it. Um, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, click on that subscribe button. And thanks very much for watching. 